Hey guys, this is Steven from TechSteveHD.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to factory reset a Roku device and then also start from the beginning of setting it up. So let's go ahead and get started. You want, once you first you turn on the device, you want to go to settings. That's usually at the very end here. And press OK. Now what you want to do is go over to factory reset. Press OK. At the bottom, you can see where it says factory reset. Go ahead and press that. And then yes to confirm it. Now you can see it's starting to get back to normal and you can, it's got the launch screen set up. It's kind of like getting all the apps ready to go so you can put in your information for the first time. So let's go ahead and let this do its thing and uh, we'll be right back. Okay, now this is what it looks like for the first time. It's gonna take you about five minutes to set it up as long as you have your Wi-Fi password and everything ready to go. So we're gonna press okay to begin the setup. I have a wireless network, so I'm going to press that. It's going to then scan for the networks. I'm going to go ahead and choose my network. And what you want to do is go ahead and put in your Wi-Fi password. All right, so after you get the Wi-Fi password put in, it's going to scan to make sure that all the credentials are correct and to set up a few things, and then we should be ready to go to start downloading applications. So now we got that going on. You want to set up your time. I'm actually in Pacific Time, California. Once you get that, hit down at the bottom. Now let's try again here. Now here's the tricky part. You want to go ahead and go over to roku.com slash link and you need to put this code in. And I'm going to go ahead and put that code in from the TV set. So that's going to be P2 x j k and then see ask you if you have a count set up i do have one all right now you're inside of the count hit continue and it's going to go ahead and start loading up some things that if you want to buy it hit continue skip all the offers if you want to all right, after I actually logged into the online account, you can see it's starting to synchronize my account. So it's adding channels that I have purchased on there or have access to onto the Roku device. Now it says, congratulations, it's all set. So let me go ahead and press the OK to start and see what we get. So it goes back to your settings here where you can change everything. You can also go into network if you need to change that. Your display type, so I do have a 1080p TV, you want to choose that, confirm it. It's going to reset the Roku so it can update the video settings. So that's important if you want to get the most out of it. All right, now you can see all the different apps that are available. You can just select them like by pressing OK, and then you'll get an option to download into your unit, and then uh, it'll load up into your Roku device. Now I'm going to take you online to show you where you can also do, do this on your website, uh, log in and it'll actually send it to the Roku device as well. All right, from the main website, just click on your name. Click on channels. And then you can see all the different channels. Like if you want to put Sling on there, you hit add channel. You put in your username and password, and then a few minutes later, it'll pop up on your uh, Roku device. The cool thing I like about this, you can select each Roku device you have and put different channels on each one. So there you have that. The next part of this video, I'm going to show you how to uh, install the application, and once you're on Wi-Fi, you can control it uh, through your cell phone. So here we go. All right, so if you want to get the app for Roku, just go to the App Store. It's available on Android 2 under the Play Store. And then you want to hit Search. Then in the search bar, just type in Roku. Search for it. And then press download or get. And then once it installs, uh, you'll have access to it. I'll show it to you in just a minute once it's done. All right, now you have the application, just press on it.
and now searching for my different Roku devices on Wi-Fi. Keep in mind, if you have more than one, it's going to actually find it. So it found mine. A couple setup things. Now, if you look at the screen behind you, see, I can now control it. Cool thing about this is like uh, you can actually pull up the keyboard. All right, so there's my video on how to uh, set up a Roku, and you can have pretty much fun with this. And the great thing I like about the remote control on a, a smartphone, you can be in any room in the house, as long as you're on Wi-Fi, you can change the tracks to your music and uh, all kinds of good things like that. So for more videos like this, visit my website at techsteedhd.com.